morning, Internet. How's it going? We're here in Thief River Falls. We're just picking up our new trailer. We're going to pull it on back home and then go home for the night and get ready for our trip to Florida tomorrow. First things first. from what I could hear. Just gonna roll forward a little bit here, shut the doors, check all the lights, check all the tires and everything, make sure it's safe to operate on the road. Remember, DOT is out there checking. Gotta make sure everything's in good working order. All right. All we got left is closing the doors. There we go. I'll go get my padlock and just put the padlock on there so I can cross the border and say that the load is secured. Because the border is going to want to know that no one tampered with the load or added anything into my trailer since I left here. But before you put it on the trailer, make sure, make double sure you have the key for it. Because these things are very hard to cut through. So, my key is on my keychain right there. Come on, there we go. We'll check it. Now, if you're wondering, why do I lock this side, but not that side? Well, this door cannot open without that door opening. So as long as you put a padlock or a, a seal on this side here, you know no one's gonna get into your trailer and throw something in there that's gonna get you in trouble at customs, you know what I mean? Because it's happened before, not to me, not to anyone I know, but I've heard stories of it before where, you know, drug runners, they'll throw drugs into your trailer and then they'll have a, a guy on the other side of the border who will follow you and as soon as you stop at a truck stop for coffee or to sleep, he'll go into the trailer and grab the drugs and hey, they just got drugs across the border, right? And if the drugs get caught or if they get found out at the border, it's the trucker's fault, right? It's always the trucker's fault. That's why I always say, drivers, always assume that they're going to think you're guilty. Always make sure you take extra measures to prove you're innocent. Unfortunately, that's just the way it is. So I'm just going to input this new trailer information, the pre-trip that I just did on this trailer, into the computer here so that they know that, hey, this guy's checked this trailer out. He vouches for it that it's a good, safe piece of equipment to have on public highways. That way, if anything falls off, like I said, Whose fault is it? My fault. So you always gotta put it into your logs then that you did a freight trip on it. Even when you switch trailers midday like this, you gotta go around to a freight trip and mark it in your logs so that they know you checked it out. Because if you don't check it out and something does fall off, guess whose fault it is? Your fault. It's always your fault. But if you did a free trip first, it looks better for you. But if anything falls off your trailer, it's gonna look bad for you either way. So just do your freight trips. <laughs> that I take from the Highway 59 here to get over to I-29 is closed. There was no warning signs or anything along the highway. It's just, you get to the highway and, sorry, can't get through. The problem with this is that I can't cross through on the 59 here. 
I'm in Lancaster, Minnesota right now, pretty much right at the Canadian border. I can't cross through into Canada at this border crossing. I have to cross at Emerson. So I have to find a new way of getting across to the I-29. One second here, let's take a look on Google Maps. Open this up here. All right, so the blue dot is us there. We're in this little town of Lancaster. Hey, look, they have a Manitoba street. Would you look at that? That's cool. They named a street after us. All right, so there's the Canadian border right there, right? I can't cross at this crossing right here. I've got to cross over here at Emerson. So there's Emerson. Here's the 59. You can cross through here empty. You can't cross through there loaded. I came from Thief River Falls down here. Thief River Falls up the 59, up the 59, and then usually I take the 175 across to Halleck, and then up the 75 around Pembina there, then through Emerson, right? But this highway here is closed. There's, we're doing a bridge, so there's no other main road going through. So what I'm gonna do here in Lancaster, I'm hoping this is going to be a truck route. If not, I've gotta go all the way back down to the 11 here, which is a waste of time. So let's go to Lancaster. Now this road here, can you see it? It's not, it's not a US highway. It's a municipal road by the looks of it, or a state highway maybe. Uh, highway six takes us all the way up around here, all the way over here towards Humboldt. And then I can meet up with the 75 there and then take the 75 up to Emerson. This is one example of how Google Maps can really, really help you on the road. I can't imagine, I guess, well, I have an atlas as well. I have a regular paper map as well, and I guess that that would have worked just as good. But uh, that's one way you can use this app or Google Maps to help you when you get lost. It's quick, it's easy. Well, the good news is that the road turned out to be good. So we'll take this over to I-29. Good thing that there was a, <laughs> a way to still get there in a good amount of time and not make us have to backtrack so far. Very thankful for Google Maps. Beautiful evening for a walk. So we were able to get through to the I-29, get back across into Canada, drop the load off and whatnot, and make it home in time for a nice walk this evening yet. This summer has just been the best summer yet, you know that? I don't know if you guys have realized this, those of you who have started walking and whatnot, do you notice and realize that uh, you seem to become closer with your community? You sort of get to know your community better just by walking. If you just drive down your t down your street all the time, you just drive through your community all the time, you miss so much. However, if you walk, there's so many things that you realize are there that you didn't know were there before, you know? Like that beautiful river down there. Never even knew it was there. Come on, Diesel. Look at that. I also didn't realize how many mosquitoes were in this area. But hey, it's motivation to keep walking. Because if I if I stay at a steady pace, come on, Diesel, keep up. Come on, stay out of those ticks in there, man. If I stay at a steady, fast pace, the mosquitoes can't catch me. If I slow down, the mosquitoes catch me and they bite me. So they're actually motivating me to keep up my pace. Have you ever seen a more beautiful street in your life? Just beautiful, look a little walking path in there. I believe that's private property. Can't go in there, but we can look. Oh, 
You know, this whole walking thing. I like it. Good boy. 